Jeremy Rifkin. This message is for Jeremy Rifkin. If you know Jeremy, please send him this message. I hope he's doing well. And, um, you know, I became a fan of Jeremy's when in around 2010, when I was working on this idea of the Open Innovation Framework, his book, An Empathic Civilization, was very instrumental in kind of formulating my ideas for social capitalism built on the blockchain, right? So an empathic civilization is ultimately where I ended up. So my question to you, to Jeremy, or to you watching is this, how do you gauge the empathy level, the empathic level of a civilization? From one to 10, what is your measurement? I've come up with a very simple, simple way of determining how empathic a civilization is. And I'm about to share it to you. So I'm gonna to count to 10, 10, nine. What is it? What are the rules for an empathic civilization? Eight, seven, I'm sure you're not gonna get it. Come on, it's really simple. Six, five, the hint is in my voice. Four, three, one. All right, let me show you. This here is a gauge of how empathic a civilization is, right? Here is a bathroom. So if you travel a country and you go from truck stop to, you know, to, you know, convenience store to people's homes, if you basically visit 100 bathrooms in a culture, right? The one with the highest rating, okay? from, you know, and you can't just go into the same one, same one, it's you've got to like, okay, we're going up in the farms, up in the mountains, we're gonna, you know, every imaginable type of living place, visit it. And I guarantee you, Japan is the most empathic civilization on the planet. That's right, Japan. And that's where I ended up, Jeremy. Japan is the model for an empathic civilization if you remove the government and replace it with social capitalism. Everything else is. Because, you know, using the toilet, and here's a Japanese toilet, is so important. You know, here is the spray. This, this basically cleans your, your, your buttocks. You've got your, all your, your different things here. Um, there is even a stand up here. This is a urinal, a standing urinal for handicap. There is an alarm here if you need to get, you know, uh, assistance, or I think that maybe that's flush, because it must be flush. I don't know. Is it gonna flush? I'm either gonna, I'm either gonna get, I don't know, how the hell, it has to be flush. Oh, maybe this sends, this is a button. See, they don't have English. That's not very empathic. So, <laughs> it tells you, okay, how to use it. There's a spray here, a nozzle spray, right? If you wanna kind of get to interesting places. All right, look at this here. This is for hanging a bag. So my bag could be like right here, actually. Look at that, a little place to hang my bag. All right, here's, a, you know, rails. Here is, look at the size of the sink. And again, there is a spray, spray nod, nozzle, right? And look, there's the, so you can actually clean. Oh, why is this not working? I need two hands. Anyway, um, water, temperature, temperature setting on the water here. This is pretty damn empathic. Look, you need to have a child. Here's the thing here. Here's for getting rid of, um, you know, and here's a changing table. Now, this is a toilet. This is empathy at its finest.